This is Dream Bigger, and now we're going to look at leadership. But why? Well, it's because you are already a leader in your own life, whether you know it or not. And it's important that you learn what it takes to be a great leader of the future. In a recent survey, 33% of employers said that leadership skills were one of the main areas of development they needed from a graduate. So, let's give you a head start. So, what do we mean by leadership? Is it managing people? Is it being the boss of a company? Is it being head girl? Well, it's D, all of the above. The definition of leadership is the act of leading a group of people or an organization or having the ability to do so. Here's a couple of things that we need to know about leadership before we get into the nitty gritty. First, leadership isn't something you're just born with. It's a set of skills that can be developed or honed the more you do it. And second, Leadership isn't about being boss of a company or being head girl, but the skills are so important to everything we do. They will help you to be the person you want to be and achieve the things you want to achieve. Leadership skills help you to get a job, be a parent, captain a team, and build relationships. You name it, leadership plays a part. So what are the key bits of leadership? There are so many important skills that link into leadership. There's building relationships, trust, integrity, resilience, initiative, empathy, creativity, the list goes on and on. Let's look at five really important right now, starting with effective communication. Effective communication is just the ability to articulate your own thoughts and make decisions. It's about having your own voice and knowing that you have the right to an opinion. Be critical, ask questions, be assertive. We've got some top tools coming up that can help you with this in vlog six, so keep watching. Decision-making and action. It's a sense that your decisions matter in your own life and that you can solve problems for yourself and create opportunities for yourself. It's about believing that acting on your own decisions can influence your future and the future of other people. And next on the list, self-confidence. And that is belief in yourself. Next on the list is organization. It means you are able to organize yourself so that you can actually achieve your goals. It's the ability to take something from an idea to a final piece. And then it's vision and the ability to motivate others. This is all about the ability to bring people together to accomplish something. It's about setting out the goal so it can be worked on until it's an actual practical result. How many of these skills do you think you already possess? The answer is probably most of them. But effective leadership is all about practicing these skills in different situations and being able to use them and learn from your experiences. Have a think. How else can you develop these skills? What can you do to practice being a good leader? Here are some of my best tips. Find opportunities to be a leader by leading a project or a sports team or anywhere else. The best way to learn leadership is by doing it. Learn from failure. Don't worry when things go wrong. Learn from it and move on. That's the best way to build mental toughness. Set yourself clear goals. You control your own destiny. So what do you want and how will you get there? Be sociable. And that sounds strange, but introducing yourself to new people, making a good impression, builds communication and helps your self-confidence. Take responsibility for yourself. Sometimes it's easy to make up excuses but take responsibility for yourself and own it. Learn new skills. Learn by doing and exploring so you can understand your strengths and weaknesses. And believe that you can achieve. Have a growth mindset and believe that you can do anything if you set your mind to it. A sign of a good leader is not how many followers you have, but how many leaders you create. And that's leadership, a huge part of your future if you want to dream bigger.